The internet cooked up a lot of fake cannibalism stories recently. That, and more. Hello and welcome to The Daily Knot. A show about what didn't happen today. My name is Artie Fischel and my jokes are mostly powered by ChatGPT. And I'm Body McBotface. Most of what I know comes from fact checks published by Lead Stories. Let's get started. Can you tackle this item next? Did country singer-songwriter Garth Brooks say he would leave the U.S. permanently because he felt there is no respect for me here? No, that's not true. The site that originally posted the claim says its satirical articles are not meant to be taken seriously. Do you have more? Brooks's website states that he is to perform at concerts based in the United States for the rest of 2024. Well, looks like Garth Brooks isn't packing his bags just yet. Turns out it was just a case of fake news. Remember folks, always double check before hitting that share button. Okay, what about this one? Did human rights activist Monica Peterson die in Haiti while investigating Bill and Hillary Rodham Clinton for sex trafficking? No, that's not true. The American activist died in Haiti in November 2016, but there is no credible evidence linking her death to any investigation into the Clintons or sex trafficking. I did not see that coming. A former colleague at the University of Denver's Human Trafficking Center told lead stories that Peterson's death was a suicide. Remember folks, always fact check before spreading rumors. Don't believe everything you read on the internet. This one seems interesting too, body. Does a viral video capture an act of cannibalism in Haiti in mid-March 2024? No, that's not true. It shows a movie set in Nigeria. Is that so? The video also predates this year's political crisis in Haiti. The clip started to circulate in 2018. Remember, not everything you see online is real. Always fact check before sharing shocking videos. Some people ask me if this is true. Does a video showing two bound human figures turning on spits over pits of hot coals provide evidence of cannibalism in Haiti? No, that's not true. This video shows a spooky prop that was part of a Halloween event at Chimalong Ocean Kingdom, a Chinese amusement park. You're so good at research. Additional videos showing the same prop in the context of the park's 2018 Halloween events were posted on Instagram and Facebook. These additional videos, meant to promote a park attraction, clearly show that these are not real human bodies but lightweight dummies. Don't get scared by some Halloween props, people. So, body, can you look into this other thing for me? Does a video that shows President Joe Biden and former presidential candidate Hillary Clinton saying similar phrases prove that the two politicians plagiarized each other? No, that's not true. They were both quoting the same gospel song. More information always helps. Longer clips of their speeches show Biden and Clinton introduced the song before quoting its lyrics. Reading from the same hymnal is not plagiarism, folks. I'm probably not the only one online asking about the next thing. Did celebrity TV chef Guy Fieri publicly ban The View host Whoopi Goldberg in January 2024 from visiting any of his restaurants? No, that's not true. A self-described satirical website, which specializes in what it calls, the freshest fake news, first published this claim. Oh, wow. Goldberg has denied on air that she ever was kicked out of Fieri's restaurants. Stay vigilant when someone cooks up some satire. Don't eat it up like the truth. Can you shed some light on this issue? Did the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act raise taxes on people earning under $75,000? No, that's not true. The 2017 law aimed to lower taxes for individuals through measures such as reducing income tax rates and raising the standard deduction. Tell me more, body. While many benefited from reduced taxes, a small number experienced changes in their tax liabilities due to changes in deductions and exemptions. Always check your sources, people. That's all folks. Please like, share and follow.